Okay, so it's a couple days later. Uh, this is putting up a trust by yourself, part three. Um, I spent all of yesterday and most of the rest of the other day, and, well, pretty much all of yesterday, uh, you know, trying to figure out what to do now that I had the trusses flipped and screwed together. Um, so anyway, I figured it out and I got, I'm, I'm getting somewhere, but it's a, it's a slow process. It's probably a better idea to do this with a friend. In fact, I talked to one of my, you know, older friends who actually knows what he's talking about and a lot of stuff. And he said, well, yeah, you need two people to put up trusses. So I guess that's why there's only videos of two people or more putting up trusses. So anyway, I'll try to explain, I'm just going to try to explain what, what happened and what I did. So, uh, as you can see, I, a little further along than I was before. I've got, uh, well, I've got the four, I've still just got the four trusses up and, uh, the two in the middle are in their proper place where they're supposed to be and they're plumbed and everything. And I don't know if you can tell, but that one's like way out of plumb and that one's uh, not so good either. Uh, and not, they're not, the, the one on the end and the one on the ends are not in the right position. Uh, so when I flipped them, you know, whatever you can do to, whatever you can do to flip them to get them like on your mark, like where they're supposed to be, uh, you know, you'll be better off. Um, and also, uh, here is one thing you can kind of maybe see on this one that it's not quite sitting right. It needs to be like adjusted over this way just slightly. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, so I had that issue and I had the issue of, um, well, yeah, I, I mean, once they're up, like, how is I going to, you know, move them around because it's like 10 feet up and I can't just like go and if I start moving around and they're tied to those lever boards on the ground, it, it just doesn't work with just one person. So, so what I did was, uh, the two ones on the outside, that one and that one, I attached a purlin board, one of these boards to, uh, temporarily, um, like right here I had one and over there I had one and then at the top I had one and then I did a diagonal one and then I started putting uh, up like floorboards and basically used that as a temporary um, scaffolding kind of to then unscrew these ones and move these like inward to where they're supposed to be and what I ended up I had to do some funny stuff uh, see these two scraps of two by fours there I had to put those up to uh, raise the boards up so they, they weren't, uh, you know, sitting on these trusses so that I could move those trusses independently. And also, I had to uh, kind of jack this up, which I just did with a pry bar, and put a 2x4 under it and over here too. Uh, so that raised the these two trusses up so that I could move these independently under the temporary purlins, if that makes any sense. I know, I'm really long-winded and I'm terrible explaining things. But... Uh, basically it eventually worked. It just kind of took, it just kind of took all day. And, um, uh, when I finally got this one in the right position and got it plumbed up and then I got the other one in the right position and got it plumbed up and screwed them down and then, and then, uh, you know, did these cross members to keep them in the right place. And now I've got some of the permanent prolins on already. So, uh, so yeah, now I got to move these around a little bit, which is going to be a little tricky because I'll have to stand right here, um, and, and, and like lean over and move that to where it's supposed to be. But I think it's, I think the worst of the, everything is over. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, it worked, but I think I could have done, at this point I could do it a lot better and I'm hoping that. I'm just going to keep doing it that way, and, uh, you know, it'll turn out better. Okay, um, hope you enjoyed this video, and bye-bye. Uh,